Okay, in this DIY, I'm gonna show you how to make this photo garland. Okay, for this project, you will need um, some kind of yarn or ribbon or string. I'm gonna use twine, a hole puncher, some photographs, um, photo safe glue, and various trimmers and such, whatever you want to use. I'm choosing trimmers because I can get a nice straight edge. And then decorative paper. Okay. All right. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your decorative paper and you're going to trim it. The pictures are going to be I'm going to cut them into a square about, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Let me cut this into squares and see how it looks first. Okay, <clears throat> so I've trimmed a piece of decorative paper to five by five, and I use a trimmer like this so I can get nice straight sides. And then I trimmed a picture. This was originally a four by six, and I trimmed it to, what did I trim it to? I trimmed it to a 4x4, four four, so it's going to fit right there. Then you're going to take your photo safe glue and you're going to glue the picture onto the decorative paper. And um, I like to lay a piece of uh, scrap paper or something behind the picture that I'm gluing because I want my glue to come all the way out to the edges, but I don't want to make a mess on the edge of the trimmer or the decorative paper or anything. Okay, now I have a photo glued in place. I'm going to take the hole punch and I'm going to punch a hole in this corner and this corner. And then now that I have the holes punched in there, I'm going to lace this string through it. Okay, so I'm going to do this with several more pictures and different um, colors of paper and show you the finished product but you can and you can make it put as many or as few on it as you want to um so i, I haven't decided how many i'm going to do yet but we'll see Okay, so I finished stringing it up. I alternated this, I put the twine in the back and then the front, back, front, back. You can do it any way you want. That's just the way I chose to do it. And then on either end, I tied a knot in it. And um, you can use any kind of decorative paper. I used a, a cardstock single-sided. You can also do like a double-sided one and do pictures on the other side if you're going to hang it somewhere where people can see both sides. But I'm probably just going to hang this on a wall somewhere. 